Hello and welcome to this learning video. We are done with the probability, conditional probability, conditional expectation, variance, coefficient of correlation and so many things. Now we are at the end of this probability and statistics where we are going to talk about the probability distributions and in particular in this learning video we are going to talk about the Bernoulli's or binomial distribution I would tell you why this is called as binomial distribution okay so first of all let us uh, talk about its application the applications are very important the application of Bernoulli's distribution is uh, in clinical trials and in the experiment okay and uh, in the clinical trials and in the experiment is used it is used to model a single individual experiencing the event like death, disease or disease exposure. The model is an excellent indicator of the probability a person that uh, event question. So as you all know the uh, COVID-19 pandemic is uh, still going on and uh, and so many uh, scientists and the researcher are in search of the vaccine okay and uh, whenever someone uh, made some vaccine they used to have the clinical trials four stages of clinical trials and there is the use of Bernoulli's distribution because when when they uh, do trials on animals or on the human beings so they will uh, try to see what are uh, what are the uh, what we can say what uh, what are the uh, successes that they are getting on uh, on the trials okay so uh, and when the process is repeated for number of times because when the trials happens it is not like limited to one or two persons number of times the trials is going on okay so that is the best application that we can uh, correlate with the present situation okay so i hope you might have got what is the importance of bernoulli's distribution so this is very important and so let us talk about this bernoulli's distribution so bernoulli's distribution is applied for the bernoulli's trials and the conditional for and the conditions for bernoulli's trials are only three so these three conditions are the very first condition is all the trials must be independent whether you are doing 10 trials or 20 or 10 millions all the trials should be independent the second thing is each trial have only two outcomes namely success and a failure okay so the only two uh, uh, outcomes uh, will be there one is the success another one is the failure and the third one is probability for each trial is the same like the probability of success if the probability of success is 1 by 2 probability of failure will, or will also be 1 by 2 okay so probability of success for each trial is same so whether you do like uh, we have talking about the vaccine for COVID-19 so it is having uh, when when they apply the trials so whether they will be getting a success and they will be getting failure if they are getting a success then we have a vaccine for that uh, COVID-19 disease uh, or virus okay and if not then they have to keep on doing the trials okay so the next thing is consider an experiment with only two possible outcomes success and failure that we already have seen let us denote P the success of uh, the probability of success and Q to be probability of failure on each trial as you know that uh, some of the probability is one and here we have only two events one is the success and another one is the failure uh, other one is the failure so if P is the success for uh, P is the probability for success and Q is the probability for failure then some of the probability is equal to one okay so what would be Q Q is equal to one minus P denotes denotes the probability of failure on each trial now suppose that an experiment is uh, independently repeated n times 
and x denotes the number of success in n trials then what values this x will assume this x will assumes the values like 0 1 2 3 and n okay then let me continue this way so this is about the binomial now why it is called bernoulli uh, why it is called uh, binomial uh, distribution we are coming on that okay so the probability of what happened then the probability then the probability of x successes probability of x successes in n trials in n trials in the distribution is sorry is given by is given by the probability function is given by is given by the probability function and that probability function is f of x is equal to probability of x is equal to x is equal to n c x p to the power x into q to the power n minus x yeah q to the power n minus x and n takes the value 0 1 2 and so on and so on okay up to up to n right because we have specified the n number of trials 0 1 2 n okay then this distribution which is given by this okay this is binomial distribution the distribution which we are seeing here is for the random experiment uh, independently repeated n times and the x assumes the values this is given by the probability function and this probability distribution is a binomial distribution why because if you substitute the values like when you go on putting the values so it will be getting uh, nc0 p to the power x then x nc0 p to the power 0 q to the power x when you expand this you will be getting a binomial expansion okay so let me write this 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 probability this probability distribution this probability distribution is a binomial distribution so now you will get it why it is called binomial distribution because this distribution given by the probability function is uh, behaves like binomial distribution binomial distribution because because what because it corresponds to because it because it corresponds to because it corresponds to successive terms in successive terms in the binomial expansion in in binomial in binomial expansion okay so it is like p plus q power n is equal to what is p plus q power n this would be n c 0 p to the power 0 q to the power n plus n c 1 p to the power 1 q to the power n minus 1 then plus n c 2 p to the power 2 q to the power n minus 2 plus so on at last that would be n c n p to the power n and q to the power n minus n so now you will get it why this bino this bernoulli's distribution is called as binomial distribution because if you want to write it you can write like p plus q power n is equal to what is it summation n is equal to 0 to n oh god 
x is equal to 0 to n n c x p to the power x q to the power n minus x okay so these are the things say this is 2 say this is to be 1 now uh, give me a moment so the discrete random variable having this distribution f of x given by 1 is said to be binomial distribution and whatever these are p and n these are the parameters okay now you may be wondering why don't you say q is also a parameter because q can be written as 1 minus p okay so we have two parameters p n and p okay so I just uh, need to write down this the discrete random variable the discrete random variable x having having probability having probability distribution 1 probability distribution 1 is said to be is said to be binomially distributed said to be binomially distributed and here n p r parameters n p r parameters of distribution of distribution okay now let me make one note here Now if uh, this n district now if n independent trials now whatever these trials are going on if n independent trials constitute a single experiment constitutes constitutes one experiment one experiment and one experiment and what and this experiment and this experiment to be repeated n number of time and this experiment to be repeated to be repeated n times n times the frequency then the frequency of our successes frequency of our success is is n into n c r p power x q power n minus x p power r sorry because it is for r so i can write n c r p to the power r into n minus r so i hope uh, this bernoulli's uh, or the binomial distribution is uh, clear to you if you have any doubt you can ask me anytime uh, in just a summary what you can uh, remember for this binomial uh, this bernoulli's distribution is bernoulli's distribution is uh, uh, what is it bernoulli's distribution is for uh, uh, apply to Bernoulli's trials and these trials are all n uh, all n trials are independent it has only two outcomes one is the success another one is the failure and the next thing is probability of success in each trial it must be same okay and then uh, it is like uh, where we will denote the probability of success by p and probability of failure by q q is equal to 1 minus c we have already seen and then uh, if we uh, if we consider an experiment with only two possible outcomes uh, and if it is repeated independently n times uh, and if x denotes the number of successes in n trials and it will assume the value 0 1 2 and so on up to n then the probability distribution is given by f of x is equal to ncx 
p to the power x into q to the power n minus x and this distribution one is called as binomial distribution because if you expand this it will correspond to the terms of the binomial expansion okay and the second thing is uh, if x given by this binomial uh, distribution f of x is said to be a binomial distributed and n and p are some n and p are some parameters okay and one note you have to remember if n independent trial constitute one experiment and it is to be repeated n number of times then the frequency of successor will be n times f of x okay so that is what we have discussed here it is uh, so much of theoretical part wonderful application of binomial distribution and in the very next class we are going to take on the properties of binomial distribution so thank you for watching this learning video and enjoy learning mathematics thank you